Hi everyone, you've reached Rico's channel and this is Rico. So recently I had a couple questions from new bird owners in regards to bird behaviors or body language. So what I have done is put a couple of bird body languages together and what they mean. Most of these apply to birds in general, but one or two may apply to ring neck parrots exclusively. What looks to be like your bird is yawning or constantly stretching his throat or neck is your bird clearing their crop and it is just a way your bird is adjusting his crop. If you do however see your bird is constantly doing this, it is best to seek an avian vet for help. A bird who becomes suddenly alert on what they have seen or curious will normally stretch out their neck really high up, feathers held tight to their body, eyes wide open, and almost like a frozen posture. Eyes pinning accompanied with growling is usually an indication that your bird is trying to warn you to stop doing whatever you're doing. You will also notice a fluffy head feather with his head down and a kind of don't mess with me look. This is all a warning sign before your bird will bite. So pay attention to these signs and indications and just best thing to do is leave your bird alone because if you don't pay attention to these signs chances are your bird will end up biting you and it could lead to your bird becoming more and more aggressive mouth open with wings slightly open is just a way that your bird is trying to keep cool they may have simply just flown around the house a couple times were playing and are just a little bit warmer than usual However, if you do notice heavy panting as well as mouth open with wings open, this could be a sign for concern because your bird could be really overheating and you need to cool your bird down immediately as quickly as possible. Head tucked in with your bird's foot tucked up and taking a nap is just a normal way of your bird keeping himself warm and sleeping and happy. However, if you do see that your bird is doing this more frequently with fluffed feathers for prolonged periods of time, as well with breathing heavy, with tail bobbing and any other signs that you see that are not usual, you need to look into this because your bird may be sick and you may need to take your bird to avian vet. Male mating behavior. Your male may flirt with you, an object, either by hopping, bowing, strutting, accompanied by eyes pinning, and do what's called the heart-shaped winged. This is all normal and a natural thing for your male to do. Female ringneck mating behaviors. Females will either do this to their chosen ones, again to object. They will either crouch down, tilt their heads back, do what's called a clucking sound, tilt their head from side to side while pinning their eyes, and even may have their wings slightly open. This is all normal thing that a female ringneck will do. If your bird paces back and forth in their cage when they see you or on a bar, chances are they are just really excited to see you, want to come out and play or interact with you. However, if your bird is constantly doing this, chances are it could be other issues like boredom, not enough toys, not enough outdoor time or other issues that you may need to look into. Bird stretching is all normal and it's just like us humans do, it simply helps relieve tension, especially because they spend so much time on their feet. You will normally see them either do it first thing in the morning or after relaxing. Birds sneeze for the same reason we do, whether it's dust or other nasal irritation. If, however, your bird sneezes more often than usual and has nasal discharge, it's always best to ask your avian vet to be safe. Preening is another normal thing that your bird will do daily to keep their feathers in good condition.
A little yawn here and there is totally normal from your birds. Flapping feathers and a short poof of feathers as you saw Rico do is just a sign that your bird is either happy to see you, ready for cuddles, or a nap. Beak grinding is often a sign that your bird is content, happy, relaxed, and most likely about to fall asleep. So hopefully after watching this video, you can now better understand your bird. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Say bye for now, Rico. Bye.